all you could hear were bombs dropping there from there. You know, when, when that um, landmine dropped, it was just like a huge whistle and then silent. And nobody knew what happened until the, somebody came in round. have you got any back doors to get the bodies out, you see. That's, that's all you heard at that end. But uh, I think more or less the trouble was in Sheffield, down the moor, was the incendiary bombs that set all the things on fire and there were no water. My father saw the flames from the bedroom window mm -hmm. at home uh, on the night it was happening. Because uh, uh, that's when he told me, he says, you'll not be able to go to work. He says, it's just all on fire. Mm -hmm. And you could see it from where I actually lived. We went to work to the bus stop, as usual, or tram stop, whatever it were, and was told there was none running. So we just continued. And it's quite a walk. It's down Sunnyfield Road and on, right on the Wicker. Until we got to Wicker and then we saw what had happened. Uh, trams upside down, all on fire. There was um, shop doorways on fire. You just didn't realise, you know, what had happened. There were plenty of, plenty of people in the back, but everybody were in the chaos, you know. They didn't know what to do. There was no water or anything. Just blazing all over. Uh, Marple's, um, what they call it, hotel, were flat. And it was full. Every night it was full. And it got a direct hit. It was terrible. There were bodies all over. And, and they got their, those that they could get out, but the rest they buried, left them there. In such a, you know, in such a bad state. We're an absolute mess. There were craters in the road, wires. Um, oh, you couldn't, you, you can't ex explain. There were CNA, there were clothes flying about out at window, uh, where, you know, where, through the blast. There were a big insurance place that were on, that were a direct hit. Uh, that were at back of back of CNA. There were conductors, there were drivers, all in CNA shelter, all dead. Uh, that were a dead dead you know a dead loss for them. They all ran in there, you see, and they all got killed. Uh, it were awful, really. It was sad, but it was an exit life. You know, we, had, we we saw the funny side of things. We had two incendiary bombs at, um, in my home. Um, that was after the blitz. They were stray, what they call strays, coming over and dropping the, the bombs, and they dropped two incendiaries. And we were in bed at the time. And uh, it dropped at the bottom of the bed and burnt all our clothes, but the R A R what is R A P what they call them came dashing in, put all flames out like and and that was a that was laughable. Everybody were in about. The mother were putting her knickers on for a blouse and we saw it from his side. We didn't we didn't make worries. It was sad, but it was I don't know. People they're not like that today. We all mucked in and got. Not things going, you know. Uh, um, it, 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 I don't know, Sheffield, I think Sheffield people are like that. Tough. <laughs>